Run toward the danger, says childhood actress and film producer Sarah Polly. Hey, I'm Ben Ahrens, co-founder of ReOrigin, a science-based neuroplasticity program that teaches you how to rewire your brain so that you can reclaim your health. And in this video, I wanted to talk about Sarah Polly's new book called Run Toward the Danger because I think it bears a lot of relevance to overcoming a chronic condition. And in this book, she talks about a lot of different things and experiences she's had, traumatic childhood experiences, but the book really starts and the title focuses on an experience that she had struggling with post-concussion syndrome. Now, post-concussion syndrome is something that can happen just like chronic pain when you experience an injury where the symptoms persist beyond the acute phase. So in this instance, she stood up under a fire extinguisher, had a concussion, and experienced a lot of the common concussion syndromes like brain fog, migraine headaches, exhaustion, sensitivity to light and sound. But the interesting and somewhat concerning part came when those symptoms persisted beyond that one month, two month, three month period where the injury should have resolved itself according to most doctors, and it looks like it has, but yet the symptoms are persisting. Now, being a good patient in this book that she describes, Sarah uh, follows most doctors' advice, which was to avoid the things that are triggering your symptoms, right? So the well-meaning doctor is always gonna say, rest, take it easy, and generally that's really good advice. We don't want to exacerbate our condition, and taking that good advice, uh, if it was loud sounds or crowded spaces or watching TV that exacerbated her symptoms, those are the things that she cut out. Now, what she noticed is that after months went by and things didn't seem to get better, she actually started becoming more sensitive to these things, more sensitive to light, more sensitive to sound, to TV and to crowded spaces. And so she further withdrew from those things that were challenging her symptoms. Well, weeks turned into months, turned into years, and she found that after about two or three years of dealing with this challenge, she was now basically, her life was basically existing in just a dark room. There wasn't really much she could do. And I think so many of us have been there when it comes to experiencing a chronic condition, trying so many different things, taking the well-meaning doctor's advice, taking the rest you need. But when something, you have something like, post-infectious syndrome like long COVID, Lyme disease, or post-concussion syndrome, anything that continues beyond what's deemed the normal scope of time, that's to say when a symptomology goes chronic, now we're left with a unique circumstance because more rest is not necessarily going to solve the problem. It wasn't until she met with one doctor that had a different piece of advice. This one doctor told her where everyone else was saying, move away from those things that are challenging your symptoms, this one doctor said, run toward the danger. Go in the direction of the things that are causing discomfort. Now taking this counterintuitive approach, she started to reintroduce things like loud TV sounds and lights and slight crowds and started to get into bigger crowds and things like that. And eventually within about six weeks of reintegrating these different trigger triggers and challenges, she was all the way back into full-time normal healthy life and she had completely overcome the condition that had overcome her for the three previous years. Now, as it turns out, this strategy of running toward the danger has a real name when it comes to overcoming chronic conditions. It's called incremental training. It's also referred to as gradual exposure therapy or systematic desensitization. But basically, it's the process of inoculating ourselves to the very thing that's triggering symptoms or causing discomfort in the first place. So how do we do it? The caveat? We have to train ourselves, retrain our brain's association, basically our brain's relationship with that thing, to be able to be calm or find calm amid the chaos, to be stable among the discomfort. Now, if I were to give this as a prescription, I wouldn't call it necessarily run toward the danger. I would say calmly and pragmatically take steps toward the things that are challenging you, while at the same time making your brain and body feel safe. Of course, that wouldn't make for a good book title, so it would never sell. So Run Toward the Danger is what we'll stick with. But the idea is similar. And it's that when you've been experiencing a condition or symptoms that are persisting beyond the acute phase, that's to say the injury or the initial 
acute phase has passed, the injury is healed, but the symptoms are still there, it doesn't mean there's nothing you can do about it but wait. In fact, taking an active approach to your recovery tends to give the best results. And this book was just a great, I thought, example of how to put that into practice. And then the really interesting thing is that once she went through this process herself and cured herself of those symptoms of post-concussion syndrome, now she was like, huh, I wonder what else I can go back and reprocess or change my relationship to. And her book is really about going back through those challenging childhood experiences that she had and being able now with this new newfound ability to re revisit them without reliving them, to reprocess them without reprogramming her brain to keep that threat response going. So whether you're experiencing post-concussion syndrome, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, or anxiety or depression or PTSD, I want you to know that there is a real solution to this. This process of exposure therapy, gradual exposure and neuroplasticity or brain retraining has demonstrated to be successful just like it was for Sarah Polly for so many other people with a wide range of conditions. It all starts with the simple realization that your brain is always making associations and that you have the power to guide your brain to create a different association and a different response. So, if this speaks to you, if you're feeling motivated to learn how you can take these steps toward the danger while at the same time making your brain and body feel supported or simply put, running toward the danger and you want to get running, check out the link in the description below. And if you found this video helpful or interesting, please pay it forward, pass this on to someone that you think might benefit from it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you in future videos.